to uh, take where God has told them to take it. And she said, well, they need to hear from a man's perspective. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, all right. So I heard the Lord say that, uh, ladies, you are made by design. Ah, You're made by design tonight. Uh, when God brought forth the first woman, into the life of the first man that was purpose, plan, and strategy. Say purpose, purpose plan, plan, and strategy. And, strategy. and the Lord says the same way today. You are in the life of your husband or will be brought forth into his life at just the right time for divine purpose, plan, and strategy. Amen. You're not just with that man just because, well, we just happened to get together. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, hopefully it's not that reason. Mm -hmm. And sometimes some of us that did get together for those reasons, God has a way, a wonderful way of making wonderful things happen out of a bad mess. Amen. God can take stuff and recreate it and remake it. Look what he did in Genesis chapter 1. Yes. Yes. Yeah, the earth was without form and void. It was a mess. But it said the Spirit of God began to hover over the face of the waters. And then God began to talk, and God began to talk. So some of you, God is saying tonight, don't make any swift moves because I'm hovering over your situation. Let me begin to talk. Let me say some things to you. Somebody, when well, I just want out, I just, I'm tired. I just want out. And, you know, if God has said out, then out. But if He has not said anything, don't you make the move to get out because He's trying to make. Uh, a, a recreation out of what the enemy Micah. tried to make a disaster. Yeah. Yeah. That which the enemy meant for death, God said, I'm trying to turn it into life. Yeah. So a lot of times we just want to step into well, I'm just I'm just done with this. I ain't got I ain't got to take nothing. I ain't got to take all of that. Who he think he is talking to me like that? Who she think she is? I ain't gonna let her get away talking to me like that. Amen. See, that's the man's side of the story that the men don't tell. Because men get abused too. Yeah. Men get beat too. Yeah. Oh yeah, men, we just too proud and we ain't gonna say that. Because the man pride. So it, it, it can work both ways. So we've got to stop sometime and allow the Spirit of God to begin to talk. In the beginning, uh, those of you that follow our ministries, we do a, uh, a blog talk radio program on Tuesdays and our theme scripture comes from Genesis 1 26 to 28 and everything that we talk about basically the revelation comes out of those scriptures and I'm reading some from Amplified tonight if you don't have that version just kind of jot stuff down and if you do have it follow along it says and God said let us Father Son and Holy Spirit make mankind in our image after our likeness and let them somebody said them yeah. have complete authority over the fish of the sea the birds of the air the tame beasts and over all the earth and over everything that creeps upon the earth so God uh, uh oh, I think I, I think I, I think I lost some text in here. So I'm gonna skip to 28. Look, look, look we, we preachers know how to do that. Skipping, and God blessed them. Never lose a train of thought. And God blessed them and said to them, "Be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it, using all its vast resources in the services of God and man, and have dominion." Somebody say, "Have dominion." Have dominion. Over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and over every living creature that moves upon the earth. God blessed or empowered them to prosper in every area of life. And when God created them in the beginning as man, he said, let them have authority. He didn't say let him. That's right. Notice that. When he looked at them as man, he looked at both of them. That's right. The male man and the female man. And he said, let them have authority. So there cannot be proper rulership, prophet is Joyce, and dominion in the earth unless man and woman is ruling together. And that is the deception that the enemy has brought in even into the church of God. Yeah. Right. That women are not good enough. What do you mean you're called to preach? You can't do that. Didn't you ever read what Paul wrote? Yeah, I did, but you just didn't read it in context. You didn't read it with proper interpretation. Well then and, 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 and then I'm crazy enough to believe, why would God give a woman a gift and not want her to use it? Why would God make you a prophet and then tell you to shut up? Why would God give you gifts of healing until he goes and went and sat down? Doesn't make sense. So we have to interpret everything in the whole of Scripture and make sure everything is congealing and getting, you know, going together synergistically the way it's supposed to go. If not, we have a bunch of false doctrine going around purported as proper scriptural interpretation when it is no more than uh, pure male dominance, which issues out of being insecurity. Yes, that's right. I said it one time when I stood up on a chair in a service. I don't do that very often. But I stood up on a chair and I said, any man that cannot handle a woman in ministry is not a real man. And I felt that spirit go, hit me right back. I said, I don't care. I don't care if you don't like it. 
I said, you ain't no real man if you can't handle a woman in ministry. Come on. Oh, no, that's all oh, that, 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 oh, that religious demon was hot in there that night of Antichrist. <laughs> when I sat down and preached all over us. God ain't got no women apostles. God ain't got no women. I said, well, God ain't got nothing then, apparently. God is just full of God. Just yeah. don't, don't have nothing. But God said, let them have dominion. Yes. There is a place of rulership and authority that God ordained for man and woman to walk in together. So he blessed and empowered them to prosper in every area of life. The purpose of creation was to extend the rule and reign of God from the spirit realm to the natural realm. God said the reason why I'm making something physical is because I want a physical representation of everything that's going on in heaven. That's why he made earth. That's why he made mankind to rule on the earth. He said I want there to be a physical manifestation of what's happening on the earth inside of me what's going on in my life what's going on in my world that's why whatever God does for us on the inside it has to be birthed out yes. hear me today hear me side note here whatever God is doing on the inside my grandmother got that song several years ago the Lord gave it a little, little chorus God is on the inside working out his will she would sing that little song before she preached uh, so whatever God is doing on the inside of you it is to be birthed out of you so God can show oh look what I've been up to Look what I've been doing. Look what I've been uh, in the process of forming and putting together. Uh, why did God? Why did God come up with this other side of man called woman? Well, God knew that man needed some help. <laughs> we may not like to admit it. <laughs> yeah, I don't need I'm all right. Don't leave me alone. Don't know that. No good and well, we need help. Amen. Yeah, amen. See, he know. <laughs> The honest brother over there. The man needed help. In Genesis 2.18 it says, God said, it's not good or sufficient or satisfactory that the man should be alone. I will make him a helper suitable. This is the Amplified. It says suitable, adapted, and complementary for him. So whenever God uh, 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 has the man spot out the woman that he has for him, that woman is to be suitable, adapted, and complimentary. The expanded Bible said it's not good for man to be alone. I'll make a helper in the sense of a partner or an ally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The word does not imply subordinate status. It has in, in a little brackets. Who is right for, is suitable for, or corresponds with him. So God said I'm going to make this suitable, adapted, complimentary partner and ally that is not insubordinate but walks by his side. Amen. And that corresponds with him. I'm going to break down some words. I'm an apostolic teacher. I like to break down words. What does the word suitable mean? It means appropriate. Yes. You ever see some people together and you just go like, some people you're like, oh, yeah. Other people you go like. When we like, that's my husband. And you go like. <laughs> and you don't know what to say, so you just kind of go, bless you. Appropriate, befitting. That's what the word suitable means. Cut out for. Uh oh. <laughs> Fitting, good enough, happy. Mm. If I'm suitable for that person, there should be some happiness going on there. Amen. Shouldn't be fighting and fussing all the time. Amen. I know how we, some of us, have grown up. That's the way. That's something that we've always. The only way some of us have seen our parents communicate is by fighting. And anger. And it, you know, it's like, well that they love each other. <laughs> That's how they show that they love each other. They throw things. <laughs> and they beat each other. No, that's not love, baby. That's called abuse. Uh -uh. No, happy in character. Uh 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 opportune. That's what suitable means. It means presentable, proper, reasonable, relevant. Ooh, adapted. Uh, somebody that's adapted to something, God said, I'm going to make him a helper that is adapted to him. That means altered, uh -oh. adjusted, converted, fitted, modified, redone. You know how sometimes, ladies, you go for, uh, you know, you go in, you know, to the spa. From head to toe, you go in for the whole day, you get a whole, you know, redo, come out, you don't look nothing like when you went in at first. <laughs> 
You say, God, uh, well, how come it's taking so long for my Boaz to show up? Because God says, I'm still altering you. Come on, Come on. I'm still adapting you. I'm still adjusting you. I'm still correcting you. I'm still fitting and modifying and reforming. I'm still converting you. Mm, I'm still reshaping and retailoring you and transforming you so that you'll fit. You'll fit. We'll talk about what that fitting was a little bit further down. Complimentary to the man. Amen. <laughs> Corresponding. Crowning. It has to do with a regalness or royalty. That's right. You're complimentary to that man. That that, that you are, are. The scripture says that the woman is the glory of man. Yes. So therefore, when you come along, you know it's not like you know the man. Look, where's your wife at home? Did you bring with you? Mm -mm. <laughs> no, no. You gonna bring it with you? Mm -mm. No. Uh, that crowning sensation is that man. You're like, this is my wife. Here she is. She may not be a size two. That's right. Cause every man don't like size two. That's right. Some men like size twenty two. That's right. Don't feel bad, sisters. And men don't like. You know, 36, 24, 36. Some men might like 24, 48, you know, 32. You know, come on, let's be real. So don't have a Lord, negative self image because you don't fit into what society says is beautiful. You don't fit this little stereotype. Well, if I'm not in there, then I guess I'm not beautiful. Who told you that? God is fitting and adapting and adjusting you for that man that you're supposed to walk beside. And he knows what that man likes. So don't you try to adapt yourself yeah. don't you try to alter yourself come on, come on. because when he comes along he'll look over you because you will have altered yourself instead of letting God alter you oh, you won't be the one he's looking for he's looking, looking. if you would just you know modify it a little bit instead of going drastic yeah. with some things he's looking all over you and you're, I'm here I'm here <laughs> he's like where yeah. uh -uh. no 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 let God do the altering Amen. You want to be complimentary uh, 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 to that man. Ooh, help us, God. Paired. Yes, yes. Parallel. Parallel. On the same plane. Something that is complimentary is when it is properly embodied in such an expression. Describes an addition that produces completeness or perfection in something. When you are paired with that man, you provide a completeness and you bring a perfection into his life that he did not have when you were not there. Amen. Amen. God said, this is what I'm trying to do when I put my people together. I want to give that man a partner. That's right. An accomplice, an ally, mm -hmm. <laughs> a cohort, <laughs> a colleague, a companion, mm -hmm. a co-worker. A helpmate, a husband, a wife, a participant, a playmate, a sidekick, all of that. God said, I want to give that man, this is what you all are to be to each other. That's right. uh, an ally, something united with another, an accomplice, an accessory, a, co a collaborator. I love it when I, my wife and I, we have what we call strategic meetings. You know, she's like, okay, time for a strategic meeting. And we'll sit down and we'll lay things out. For the businesses, we'll lay things out for the ministry, you know, and it's good because you know how we men are, we're not as talkative as you are, so you better schedule a time to sit down and talk to us because if you don't, it'll all stay in here. What you're thinking, talk, <laughs> and we said, like, oh, We offer never never land somewhere like. Mm -hmm. She said, well, if you help if you let some of that out, I'm sitting here at the table too. <laughs> talk, okay, that's what. Uh, God brings forth or reveals the woman at the right or correct time in the life of men. Hmm. At the correct or the right time. Genesis 2, 20 to 22, the Amplified says, And God and Adam gave names to all the livestock and to the birds of the air and to every wild beast of the field. But for Adam there was not found a helper, meet, suitable, adapted, or complimentary for him. Adam looked around and said, now nah, I'm paired up the ostriches, paired up, you know, the lion, male lion, lady lion, male tiger, lady tiger, all the birds and male snake, lady snake. Here I am. Nobody's like me. That's right. 